For this lab we will use several applications starting from Tracker. This one we will use Excel graphical analysis. This button lets us to find the video to the tracker. Press. That video usually is on a desktop or in your downloaded folder. You find it and you open it. Now we need to establish a conversion factor between meters and pixels. Click, click, hold and grab and drag to the left end of a meter step. All right, I believe that the location of the left end of the meter stick was at 13, 25, yeah, here, position in pixels. The right one. 6 to 5.6 here. Now we can establish the conversion factor between meters and pixels. One meter should be equal to the difference. So one meter is equal to 612.30. 5 pixels. That makes 1 pixel to be equal 1 over 35 meters. We don't need this anymore. Now let's move away to convenient place. Now we have to start taking data. To establish a tracking mode, click Track New Point Mass. Now click on the screen just in case and if you press and hold the left shift you should you should see a cursor a marker. Of course this is not how we will use it. We will use it like this. Press and hold left shift button on your keyboard. A marker you can use to track the motion. Just click, release the shift button, press again, click, and this is how you track the motion of a cart. All right, done with this. Now we'll have to use the data to analyze the motion for that. Let's first transfer the data points to an Excel file. Press and hold shift, copy, paste, make it a little bit clearer. Time is measured in seconds, but the position in pixels. We want to convert it into meters. we can use our conversion factor. So this should be equal to this divided by 612.35. Now we can use this equation. So this is what we need to enter into the graphical analysis. So first let's do time. Again, shift, copy, graphical analysis.
enter well let's edit that should be time in seconds now let's transfer position in meters relative to certain margin we don't know where it is we don't care so copy paste we see nice dots so let's make it the position in meters now we can use the functions of this software to have a nice linear fit which is represented by a linear function with a given slope and the slope as we know represents velocity in meters per second the motion of the bottom cart has been analyzed I want to mention that we completely ignored the vertical coordinate because it doesn't matter. The motion is horizontal. Also, this software, double click on the graph, allows to analyze the fit. We can see linear equation and we can see coefficients, but in pixels. And there is no convenient way to make a transition from pixels to meters. Now we need to erase everything go back to the beginning of the video and start tracking the motion of the top card click shift and hold every time when we press shift We use the cursor tracker to mark the position of a cart. We have some fluctuations in the vertical direction. Done. Well, now we need to transfer data into Excel and then to graphical analysis. Click, move, shift, select, copy, switch to Excel. All right, so we know what to do. Let's make this in meters equals this divided by 612.35 equals, copy all the equation down. And now you, you can see the time instances the same, so we don't have to copy that column. We just need to copy this one. Oops. It helps to use hotkeys. Now, If I apply, apply a linear fit, the line doesn't show nice, smooth graph. So linear fit doesn't work. And uh, next one is quadratic. Quadratic fits nicely. And we have, again, coefficients which allow us to calculate acceleration and the initial velocity. And that completes 
the lab, then the rest is answering the questions about the motion of the cards.